Hi Sandra here. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you gender. Now, gender is an old topic because from standard one, you are uh, reading gender. Okay, earlier you used to uh, denote them or define them as male form or female form. In this uh, class, we are going to learn two new words. That is, masculine for the male form and feminine for the female form. Remember, whenever we have any long word, we are going to break them in syllables. Okay, and we are going to spell them according to the syllable. Okay, so masculine, masculine. Mas, 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 q, c, u, q, line, l, i, n, e, line, masculine for the male form and feminine for the female form. Okay, and the feminine is feminine, f, e, m, i, femi, n, i, n, i, n, feminine for the female form. Okay, so uh, all the nouns have their genders, have their gender form. If it's a male, then feminine form. If it's a feminine, then masculine form. Okay, now uh, this my pencil. Pencil is a noun. So tell me what is the gender of this pencil or maybe this exercise copy. What is the uh, gender of, is, is it a male or a female? Is it masculine or feminine? What is the gender of this one? Okay, give it a thought. Or uh, there is another thing I want to uh, mention here. Suppose if I ask you, keep you are not well, please go and visit a doctor. So when I'm talking about a doctor, whom am, am I suggesting? A male doctor, a masculine doctor, or a feminine doctor, or a female doctor, okay? Please uh, give these two questions a thought, okay? What is the gender of a doctor and what is the gender of a pencil, okay? So mm, masculine and feminine. Now, almost all the words you know from standard one and standard two. In standard three, there are some new words that you are going to read, you are going to learn and most importantly you are going to memorize, okay? Such as cold feeling, mm, buck do, uh, duke duchess, duke duchess I think you already know, okay? Priest, priestess, man servant, maid servant, mm, yes, uh, uh, maximum 7 to 8, not more than that. The, uh, the, uh, if you have not forgotten, forgotten what you have read in standard 2, in that case, good. Just revise it and learn these ten, uh, 6 to 7 new words. Now, if you have already forgotten what you have read, what you have studied in standard 2, in that case, that's a bit tough job. You have to memor re memorize all the things from standard 2 and some new words addition, in addition for this new class. Okay, so this is it. Remember masculine and feminine, M-A-S-C-U-L-I-N-E, masculine and F-E-M-I-N-I-N, feminine, masculine gender, feminine gender. Okay, uh, you have to memorize, there will be a chart that we all uh, will be providing you with this video. Yes, uh, there are some words that I have told you, you have some already learned in standard 2 and new, in some, some new portion, very few for standard 3. Okay, and one more thing, not only memorizing, but also practice the spellings. Okay, yes, it is important. Okay, so after memorizing, please practice by writing. Okay, in that case, your spelling will much improve. Okay, because spelling mistake is a very serious problem uh, in grammar. So please practice the spelling so uh, your spelling mistakes will be less, less and less. So this is it. Bye. See, I have not used, I have not opened my copy or have not used my pencil in the entire video. Okay. So bye. Have a good day.